Okay. Ah, uh, last time we leveled up. Um, you guys. Oh yeah, I also fucked up and didn't record last time. <laughs> Not that anybody watches the recording, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, last time you guys went, and you talked to Vani Vani and discovered that she pretty much knew everything that had happened, except that you had spoken to Fingari, that you were on the moon, and that you had met Naivara Duskweaver. But you guys told her everything, so she knew everything now. Uh, and then you went and talked to the headmaster, um, Arjan Verguth, um, and talked to him about everything. And um, Cyrene was... Disappointed! That you guys weren't able to go and speak with Lauren Steelbelly. Um, and then you talked to Donatello Perezny, who you agreed with his theory that um, perhaps the nefarious person within the school that maybe caused the issues with Lauren Steelbelly was maybe a student, maybe somebody more powerful than they seemed. And uh, were uh, basically acting as a student to get in and cause chaos. Um, didn't you guys didn't really elaborate too much into that anymore at that point because we wanted to level up and you guys can talk about whatever you want. Um, I think that's it. Anybody have anything else for the recap? Excellent. Nope. I have the inspiration still. So. remembered that i haven't updated the timeline in a bit i'm gonna write that down. oh i just remembered that too i was gonna say it but you beat me to Shut it up. no you're the worst <laughs> um by the way the pop-out thing is not um updated yet but i've been tracking the activity between the modern people um like a total nerd and they're working on it hard and it's a very difficult problem but they're committed to fixing it which is great yay mm -hmm. hey. Okay, I I think I need to look at my timeline because I don't know how much time is supposed to have passed and I feel like there's something I should tell you. Just a second. Oh, now I opened the wrong file. I'm prepared, I swear. You're, I know, I could tell. Fuck you. You know what, going forward, I'm going to rate all the YouTube videos of this X because there's now going to be just blatant nudity. Look, there goes boobs. They're out. Well, we get lots of views. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Okay, so um Yeah, I didn't update this either. This is somewhere around like a hundred days later. Okay. Somewhere around a hundred days later, which really explains how you level up because in this unlike regular like other D D campaigns, classic D D campaigns, it isn't like you wake up the next day and you know more stuff. Like this is more like you spending time at school is what's actually causing the level up, not you almost dying. Um, so it being a hundred days later is is kind of why you've leveled up. And at a certain point, um, let's say you guys are like, I don't know, having a picnic or something, chilling out on a weekend outside of class. <clears throat> um, and... Yeah, Donatello Perezny, um approaches you guys again. I don't, <clears throat> I don't have the list of um, that he was going to put together for you guys yet, and um, part of the reason for that is I want to flush out some personalities of other students before I get to that. So um, he doesn't have any of that to talk about right now. Um, but he approaches you guys. Um, and he says, uh, um, well, hello there, students. I'm wondering, um, how are you all doing since, uh, everything that happened with Jack? Uh, doing well, Professor. Do you want a sandwich? Um, no, thanks. I have already eaten, um, my lunch. You've been training pretty hard. Yes, I can tell. Um, you are advancing more uh, with every week. Thanks. Yeah. Sure, if we still don't remember, Jack. Yes, sure. um, you would think that sometime in the past 100 days or so you would have found someone to cast greater restoration on you and therefore remember him, but um, unfortunately you haven't done that yet. Um, maybe you will someday. Um, some somebody was supposed to get some diamond dust or something, Baruch. Do we well, I for them? one will uh, miss Jack very much. Um, <laughs> since you don't have your memories back yet, you don't remember that Jack and I were very close. I was his mentor. Oh. What was Jack like? Uh, he was a lot of fun. Um, not as studious as, um, you know, say Daphne. Um, but, uh, you know, his skills came naturally to him, um, similar to that of Cyrene. Um, and, uh, he was, um, he was a, a, a bit of a jokester. Um, it may surprise you at this point, um, to learn, uh, Yaro that, uh, the two of you were pretty good friends and, and he was really the, uh, the 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 jokester and you were the straight man. Oh, wow! Hardly believe it. Yes, yeah, because you're the, not that straight. His uh, his his sense of humor is certainly what? missed around here. Yeah, he called you gay. <laughs> oh. oh, that was a good one. All right, he, he's definitely bisexual. <laughs> yeah. Who, Jack? No, you. Oh, <laughs> but Jack as well. Oh, well, maybe Did we you were sleep together. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Not you, because you don't have your memory. We should work on that, guys. It's been a hundred days. Hmm. <laughs> but I did want to tell all of you um, that at least for the rest of uh, this school year, uh, Steelbelly has been removed as the dean of missions, and. Um, the professor of dexterity, Rin Walkenwoods, he's um he's been named the interim dean of missions. Oh, Rin, Professor Rin. Yep. Okay. So uh, we'll we'll get missions from him now. Got it. Professor of dexterity. There it is. Yep. Speaking of dexterity. Irene, did you finish reading that dexterity book? 
It has been a hundred days. Of course I have finished reading it. I'm not stupid. Did it help? Yes. Oh, good. Does oh, he uh, um, have a mission for us? Is that why you're here? No, I, I, I thought we had the kind of relationship where, like, I was like your inside guy in the professors and telling you all the mm-hmm. things that they didn't tell you. Do, do we not oh, have yeah. that relationship? That that is you. That you read it correctly. Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and, yeah. and and by the same token, you are helping me on my quest to keep these artifacts out of the hands of whatever evildoers are trying to collect them. Um, because the headmaster and the other professors don't believe me that there is a greater um a greater scheme at foot, as it were. You, yeah, you seem like the only rational re- professor. <laughs> Do you all remember yeah. us having talked about this many times? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, that's why I'm telling you, not because you have a mission, because I thought you'd like to know, because this just happened like yesterday. Um, I know it's been, I know it's been a long time since we've talked, but um, it feels like it's been a hundred days, but. Uh, <laughs> How come the other you all the time don't believe you with all the weird things going on and yeah. steel belly? Do you, because, don't you think that's strange? Because other than the Lich King or Emperor or whatever he is, um, there hasn't been like a grand evil anything in, you know, like a thousand years. So it's kind of unexpected, right? I mean, we've got these gods that look over us and. Watch out for what we need for our best interests. And so how could something happen? Right? That's no, I'm not agreeing with that. I'm saying that's what they think. (laughs) And then all these strange things happen and everybody just kind of assumes that they're unrelated, where like, you know, a former student goes on a murdering spree and all of a sudden the Church of Palios is all re- weird, and the sun acts funny, and things fall from the sky, and artifacts are getting stolen, and uh, Steelbelly gets his mind fucked with. You know, it's it's too much to be unrelated, I think. Yeah, we killed a Titan the other day. That was crazy. Right, it was like a hundred days ago. Yeah. I mean, was it hundred? Oh. Maybe a hundred and two, I don't know. Yeah, it was probably more than that. I haven't looked at the calendar. <laughs> who's, who's the student that went on the murdering spree? Is that no, the, well, he wasn't. He was wasn't a, a guy? student. He was a former oh, student. He had former, yeah. student. Oh, okay. That guy yeah, that came back on the ship with us. Yes, I yeah, was okay. there. We were, sh- I, we were on the ship. I, I helped to wipe his memory, or not his memory. Wipe his ability. His butt. Oh. Wipe his okay. butt. Yeah. That's what we call it when we take powers away from people: wiping their butt. Did anyone ever figure out who killed Jim Melodies? Um, well, no, but you're supposed to be working on that. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes, we've been working on that. Oh, well, yeah. I, I mean, I mean, obviously, we've been working on it, but... Well, you're not really able to work on it here. You would need to work on it, like, over course, some vacation or something. Uh, like. Yes, uh, you know, I think oh, about it. <laughs> this, is, this is Joe butting in, by the way, guys. I believe <laughs> that all of the magic items have been corrected. So please let me know if there's anything that isn't working right. Um, so, for example, if you go to your spells, um, specifically, I think Chris and Ryan, more than anybody else. Um, well, actually, Smashy's got a surprising number of things. But you should have your spells sorted by the item with the charges all correct. Um, it should all be fixed now. Oh, scrolls even. That's nice. I didn't do that. So if any of the scrolls work, they just happen to work. Um, it should be sorted by what now? If you go to your spells, mm-hmm. it, it should show what item is granting you the spell. Mm-hmm. Like, look at Scorch. Oh, right okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Golden Laurel Clown. And then it says three charges. Mm-hmm. You can only use it once, but remember, when you attack with it, you have to do three attacks. So that's why it's yeah. three charges. Mm-hmm. But your other stuff has, like, the number of mm. charges. Your ring of movement, for example. Uh-huh. It has that it's got three charges and then how much each charge costs. And so on. Yeah, that's uh, nice. 
the staff I have says five of ten on the spell list, mm-hmm. but in the inventory it says ten of ten charges. So that's um okay, yeah, it's because it's counting in two places. So what I would need to do is where's your staff? Um it's at the very I'm, bottom. I'm gonna of get the spell I'm gonna list. completely get rid of the ten of ten. Okay. Because that that if you use a spell that doesn't expire anything, so that's useless. Okay. There. Now that's gone. You want to use the one in the it, it 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 the one on the spell list is all connected the way it's supposed to be. That was technically a separate counting of charges, and you can change that to ten as well because it's been a hundred days. It should be full. Okay. But like, let me know if any of the spells are missing. I think I've got your pan flute all correct too. Okay. I was one of the little Teresa's because Teresa, oh, yeah, okay. you. There you go. Yeah, Teresa, you've got two from your mask. Mm-hmm. So those are both there. Why don't I didn't even realize them... how similar the icons are. What, Chris? Why don't some of them have pop ups when you hover over them? Why don't some of them have pop ups? Give me an example Mage Armor, Shield, Guiding Bolt. They don't on the spell list for me, but they do in the inventory list, if that... Uh, yeah, I don't helpful. know, Chris. They're... The, the tooltip is somehow disconnected. Oops, I just used it. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, why does that work for some of them and not for others? Ah, oh, man. Should have done this in the middle of a conversation. Hmm. I'm not seeing an obvious reason for that. Oh, Gulvier staff has the same problem. Uh... Brian's staff has. Hmm. I'm not sure, Chris. It's none of it's programmed any differently. Don't know, well, Chris. Yeah, it sucks. It's here. probably because he probably because he uses Mozilla. Well, we don't right. talk to Mozilla like that. <laughs> okay, um, that was I use all. Mozilla too. I don't. Yeah. He had to say. Do you guys have any more to say to him? He was uh, going to give you that information. I think so. Any Wait, any more information on the artifacts? On any artifacts? Not yet. You will certainly know as soon as I do. Thanks, Professor. Okay. Um, not that long after that, maybe 10 minutes later, and I'm still not using the voice changer. I'll start using it again eventually, but Days. Days approaches the party. You guys remember Days? Yeah. yeah. Um, he, he approaches you, and he says, oh, hi, hi, everybody. Um, how you doing? Doing great. Good. How are you? I'm good. I, I as you as you might remember, I, I'm actually in my fifth year now. I'm I'm going to be graduating soon. Oh, congrats! Brett. Congratulations. What are you doing after you graduate? Well, I, I plan to travel around a little bit. Um, you know, see a little bit more of the world. Uh, of course, going out on missions. I've done a lot of that, but there's plenty of places I haven't seen. And then, um, well, I was I was kind of thinking that um, if all of you plan to be, you know, heroes or mercenaries or something of a sort, that that maybe I could I could join up with you guys. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> she just goes, "Yep." <laughs> um, and why not? What do you guys think? <laughs> that would be good. We need a healer. Yeah, I sure. Guess. Yeah, 
And, I, and hey, I'll have even more practice by then. Friend. We need a big dragon guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I mean, Chris, to be fair, he's assuming you'll be dead by then. <laughs> we need a big dragon guy. <laughs> we, uh, hey, we did uh, lose a member, so... You know, Jack. You remember Jack? Oh, yeah, I remember Jack. Uh, I, I remember Jack a whole lot. I, I'm, I'm sure that, that you miss him a whole lot, Yaro. I would if yeah. I remembered him. He misses him a whole oh. lot, if you know what I mean. Oh, you, you still haven't <laughs> you still haven't taken care of that, huh? You know, I remember that, that, that he once told me that, that Yaro, you were the first friend he ever had. Special friend, right? No, no, they were just friends. It was purely platonic. Okay. I do not know what platonic means. Indeed. I'd like to remember him. When, when are we going to get on this uh, uh, I, greater I mean, restoration I, thing? I, you know, I, I don't. I can. I can take care of that for you. I mean, not for everybody. That's yeah, a lot of. That's a lot of diamond dust. But if you want Yaro, I could restore your memories. That'd be wonderful. I th would love to remember Jack. He sounds like a great friend. Oh, yeah, you guys are real close, and and and. It'll hurt a lot, a lot more, fun. though, Tiro, if you, if you remember him. That's true. Are you sure you want to remember him? Uh, you're going to be awful sad. Maybe do it to Baruch. He won't care. Especially <laughs> if he broke his heart in the past. No, uh, I, I, I There do. was definitely no sexy stuff him. at all between you two. <laughs> oh, how do you know? Yeah, you guys. Uh, well, I guess that I doesn't mean Yaro sure, didn't want it. it. It sure didn't seem that way. Yaro tried to fuck a lot of hippo people. All right, yeah. now I, I just want to know to see if well, I want, to me. wanted to have sex with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm> them. <laughs> no, I wanted my head stuck up in hippo's vagina, not sex with the hippo. <laughs> to be clear, like like thirty feet away, there's somebody that's like been sitting on a park bench, and you see that they're now writing things down. <laughs> it was just too expensive. Right, or he would have done it. Yeah, exactly. And you realize totally. it's somebody who works for the school newspaper? <laughs> uh, swear to God, if we are in the news. Uh, so, so what do you say, Yaro? Yeah. I'd appreciate that. All right, just just hold still. I'll take care of this. Um, He comes over, he puts the diamond dust on his, on his hand, and he goes to, like, blow it into your face. And then he goes, nah, I'm just kidding. That would that would definitely blind you if you got diamond dust sprayed into your face. Sounds like a bad idea. Yeah. Very funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I enjoyed yeah. that. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. I'll be here all night. Um, and he casts Greater Restoration on you, Yaro, and suddenly your mind is filled um, with memories of uh, your friend, Jack Lappin. Um <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, and you you recall that that you were you were great great friends. You were very close, um, and you actually see that there was a few times that you had been thinking about quitting the school altogether and returning home, and that he talked you into staying and uh, helped you c commit to your studies and to being a student and all. Um, and I, I think, you know, not to play your character for you, but I think that this is, this all coming flooding back is something that, that would in fact make Yaro quite sad. Now, um, remembering his friend and knowing that, that he is dead. You know, this whole time it's kind of been a big joke to you guys that, that, you know, this was somebody that, you know, ha, ah, there's somebody missing, but now it's like, holy shit. Yeah. Now I remember this guy and he is missing. Ears run down Yaro's face. Oh boy, he was a good guy. Huh. Do we? Should we? Should we do this for us too? I think so. Wait, we, first, we should, did we I like should, him? Yeah, he was a good, oh. a good friend to us all. Damn. We should all remember him. That's the least we could do for him. I don't know. It seemed to make you pretty sad. I don't want to be sad. Mm, that's a good point. Well, sometimes it's worth it. I don't... I, he... He was one of us. We shouldn't forget him. That's true. That's the worst. Well, All right. I, I don't have any more diamond dust. Um... 
I can I can do the spell once more today if you get me the diamond dust. Um, and then I could help the rest of you over time if you get me more. Um, but that's up to you guys. Um, I do have a diamond, but I don't know how much it's worth, to be honest. It's not dusted either. I need dust the diamond. That's not worth 5000 though, right? That's just what the description is. Yeah. yeah. The value should be right there in your inventory. Somehow I don't have it for that one. Oops, sorry. I'm keep you don't have on. the value for the diamond? No. Come on, piece of shit. There's no, there's no <laughs> way that's true. Let me see. Where is oh, there. Yeah, it says 5,000. Wow. Yeah, wow. Oh, that's very <laughs> That's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> Yeah, did you ring. really wait? Did you change the value to five thousand in your inventory? I think it got messed up at one point and somehow defaulted to five thousand. Somehow got turned to five thousand. Somehow, yeah, your opal says one thousand. God damn it, Ryan! <laughs> Ryan is a developer of the game. He probably did do it. Yeah, yeah when I was right, working on the op, on the pop out <laughs> thing, I corrupted <laughs> these values. Right. <laughs> I was going to post Let about it. Um, <laughs> Those nerds won't leave you alone. It's in his drafts, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris, what do you have for diamonds? I got five diamonds worth 100 gold pieces each, apparently. And I got okay. one that's worth 500. Okay, so that one, Ryan, should be worth 300. So change that. Okay. And then I see that you have an opal. I can't imagine I gave you a 1,000 gold opal. No, I don't um, think so. Let me see. There it goes. I don't have um. I don't even have an opal in my reward list. So where did you get that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I got two three hundred dollar three hundred gold. Oh, let me look it up. Oh, I don't have it in my notes. Yeah, lots of diamonds. <clears throat> I can just get rid of it. Well, no. I mean, you didn't just give yourself an opal, so there's got to be something. Let me just see here. Let me look through. I have a list where I've tracked the rewards that I've given you guys. Um, but let me check. That's what I was. Is this sound like Joey's like in a closet? I'm not looking. I wasn't looking at my microphone. <laughs> but when you're like, in a closet. Closet. Let me look, and it looks like, like you know when you like go into a back oh, room. Yeah. Yeah, you hear like a pan hit the ground. <laughs> you hear like a, a rubber chicken. And you can like, you're still talking, expecting us to hear you, but we can barely hear you, so we're just straining. Okay, the <laughs> only time in all of my notes that an opal is mentioned, it's worth 50 gold. Yeah. So that's <clears throat> gotta be what it is. The pearl probably Ch is better. Yeah, that sounds more accurate. Does anybody else have any um, gems that are worth crazy amounts of money? So that I can pearls, it? pearls I got are 100. Yeah, that's... Would you say 50 good. for the Opal Joe? Sorry. 50, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so what do you guys think? That's it. I've got a diamond versus 300. We could smash it. I mean, yeah, I can take care of that. I, I, I'm a cleric. I I know how to dust diamonds. How much dust was a 300 gold Three, piece worth diamond? Gold worth? I I hand it to Dave. Oh, I guess that would make sense. Okay, so okay. who's next? Do Irene next. I know she wants to remember him. Uh, Elijah? Yeah, you yeah, do. Does anyone not want to remember him? Do I? I don't think Daphne does. Why don't I? Oh, you just said anything. Well, I mean, if I can I remember, you were trying like to escape. You should escape. all remember him. I don't know. Maybe the key is for someone not to remember him. Maybe, maybe, maybe someone remembers something about him that's like really useful. You don't know. Yeah, that's true. But what if it's just not him that we are forgetting? And the only way to know that is to not remember. But, but, 
Garo knows all the things now, so just, just you could tell you. Yeah, I know, but that's how you find out what we don't know. And then we'll know, like, why we don't know the things. You've I'm lost me? I'm not following, yeah. Because their memories are selective, but why are they selective? Because he was the one that got killed? Why just him? What if there's, like, something else that we forgot? I think that's a creature's effect. From the creature, you think? Yeah, I, yeah, that's a good question, because people around town were only... Well, no, yeah. People were only forgetting the people that disappeared. Like, does Ryan know when he forgot? Who's Ryan? Er, er what's your name? Yarrow. 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 <laughs> I, and I forgot. Do I remember when he got killed? Does that come? Yeah, does that come memory? back? Yeah. No. Yeah, then, uh, I. Well, here's when he died. Thing, you guys remember yeah. the whole thing, though. That the monster attacked. You guys initially started to fight it. Um. And then it made you forget that it was there, and then it, it ate him. Hmm. That sucks. Yeah, I relay that. Yeah, it's just just a monster. That's why everyone there was so confused by it. I guess not even confused, but they're just like, oh, of course there's no ship captains, even though it didn't make any sense. So is he the only thing that came back to you? Um, you guys had actually seen the creature um, three total times before you killed it. Wow. <laughs> well, four times, I guess, including the time you killed it. Alright, so if I give you another diamond worth 100, can you crush it? Then we can get four diamond dust worth of stuff? Yeah. Done. Okay. So over the course of uh, the next two days, because he only has two spell slots high enough, um, he restores all of your memories, and you guys all um, remember him. Um, Baruch, you didn't really like him. Um, not a lot, anyway. But the rest of you all like him. Okay. I'll tell you why. It's okay. Did he have uh, any background or anything that was especially interesting or important to us? I mean, of course, it'll be important to us as characters, um, but I mean, I, he was no, well. I mean, he was a uh, ranger, and um, his parents were poor and lived in the woods, and they just kind of um, hunter gathered their way through life. Um, and um, it, you know, turns out that that he was he was going to the school because he figured that he could do something that would make his family some money, and you know, they could live a, a better life and not just kind of struggle by in the woods. And can uh, I send him some money? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, you guys remember, like, he told you where they lived and everything, so... They, of course, yeah, it's been a while now, so they, of course, uh... Are dead, too? <laughs> yes, they're dead, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, they know already is what I was going to say. I want to send them 50 gold. Yeah, that's like um, 50 gold is, let's see, one gold is like $300, so 10 gold would be $3,000, 50 gold would be like $15,000. Yeah, i do that. Yeah. If anybody else wants to contribute, but I want to send them that. With a, uh, yeah. With a, handwritten note of <laughs> sorrow and apology for having let him die. I'll do 45 so that they know that Yara was his best friend. 
make them look better. Sure. Pass. <laughs> Zero from Baru. He sends them an invoice. Oh, he didn't like them. He sends, he sends them a bill. <laughs> <laughs> I will do 30. I give you guys inspiration for this, except I think you all already have it. Yeah. Yep. I don't Where send are... money, but I send my condolences. <laughs> <laughs> Where are his parents from? Or if we could visit them on our travels. Oh boy, I don't remember. I think I, think I said they were also from Gardenia. I didn't I think have you that did, established. Yeah. Do you want me to pick a spot for him? Sure. I'll pick a spot for him. There was Jack Lappin. Okay. All right. Everybody set with that interaction? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right. So at this point, you guys haven't been on a mission in more than 120 days, and you're itching for some action when you're all called to Gulvir Hall, which, of course, is the hall where missions are handed out. Um, when you all see who is waiting for you, um, I need all of you to make a charisma saving throw. Okay. Um. Everybody who Ryan, why do you always roll multiple times? I accidentally clicked ability check. So what does it mean you throw. get to roll again? How uh, do you do the saving throw now? I didn't have a pop up or anything. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh wait, there it is. There it is. Saving throw, I get plus ten, so it's even better. You're at 24 of them. Okay, you guys, yeah. again... You guys can delete out, your... You can just change... Wow, good point. You just change the number to what it should be, so... Yarrow, you rolled really high, so yours doesn't even matter. What fuck are you doing? <laughs> you got a 24! This isn't complicated. Yeah, but now he has a 25, because he no, had he advantage. Doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody who knows like, oh, I'll 12, click this arrow. Serene, Daphne and Baruch. Um, all of you guys make a um a face of disgust. Um, that's what the saving throw was to control your face because you guys hate this fucking guy. Okay, good. I want to um, make a mad face at him. Yeah. So only well, you succeeded, you idiot. Oh fuck. Yeah, um, I don't care so about him. I care about him so little. Yep. Um. This guy is um, the Associate Professor of Wisdom. Um, and um, when you walk in, he says, um, Oh, ho, ho! You've all been eating sour candies, haven't you? Come in and sit, and I, the Great Cleric of McKelt, Achilles Theos will give you grand instructions. Ugh. Fine. Uh, Calm down. Oh, God, why? <laughs> um, you guys, of course, were expect expecting Yin or Rin Walking Woods. Yeah. Um, and instead, you've got Achilles Theos. Where's um, Rin? Uh, Achilles is a human in his late 50s. He is a cleric of McKelt, who originally grew up in the woods without parents. He came into his power late in life, but has fully dedicated himself to it. Um, I've been selected to give you this mission that is important and difficult. 
You've been selected for two reasons. First, you're certain to be victorious. And he like holds up his fist in like victory. And he says, and second, Nelios has a lot of relevant expertise. Okay, okay. I'm listening. You see a group of Kuatoa and Sahuagin off the coast of the Igros Forest in Mycath have begun attacking ships and eating the passengers. They are followers of Delga. Find them and kill them. Okay, I can do that. Nice. I use Form of Dread. Out of excitement. Um, okay, do it. Okay, so because you haven't attacked him, it doesn't do anything. Right. Okay. Um, ho, ho, ho! I see you already, and very scary! <laughs> Which would seem less cool when you do that. I'm sorry, I cannot help but give my voice inflections the way that I do! <laughs> For I grew up in the woods and narrated my own life! Oh. Uh, that's why you do that. Yes, and now I'm off to get myself a burrito. Oh, wait, a burrito. When do we leave? Whenever you like. Uh, where are the burritos? At the dining hall, of course. I know they were. Hall. Okay, guys. Burrito we're gonna go too, but we're gonna sit at a different table. That's yeah. great, and you didn't even want to know what the reward would be. Fantastic. Oh, I'll what's the reward? Later. No, no. He, he walks out. God damn it. I hate that guy. I want to go to the dining hall and see if he narrates his eating with a burrito. Oh he does. God. He does. He's really Great. fucking annoying. He does not fucking shut up. Mm. This salsa is something else. Why did he not stay in the woods, you know? I know. Okay, so I actually didn't remember that Ergotis Hall was the dining hall, but I just guessed because that oh. makes sense. So I'm assuming that's what I did. Nice. I'm not even sure if I'm right. I'm going to look it up now. Um, well, it is now. Well, no, that's not how it's going to work because I have it all. Oh. Ergotis Hall is the cafeteria. Woohoo! Nice. High five, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just Excitement honk. All right. Um, oh, that's what's next. Ooh. Fun, fun, fun. Man, I can't believe I have to just not do anything with all these notes about the questions you could have asked him. Huh. Okay. Damn it. I don't know what to ask him. It's too late. I know. Well, I'm he's at the hall with us. I guess. Yeah, I'll go ask him more questions. Okay, um... Did I update this? What's your favorite part of the burrito? I'm not... I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. He is the straight man. Um, okay, let me make sure this stuff is here. Yeah, it's all there. Okay, um, why don't you guys on the title page go to the Ed LaSalle Hall document? Um, it's on the top. It's the second one. Um, I can't remember if there's new stuff there or not, but if you, if there's anything you guys want to outfit yourself, yourselves with, um, <clears throat> that's all the stuff that's available. Um, and also remember, there is something coming where you're going to want as much money as you can possibly have. So you may not want to buy anything. That's up to you guys. But um, something is coming that having money is going to be nice. Okay. The other thing is that um, now would be another time that you could buy ship upgrades. Um, 
and the ship upgrades document is also on that page it's on the bottom left of the of the set of things they'll give you guys a minute to look through those two things and see if there's anything you want to buy well, um, how much money do we all have over my dead body am i telling you how much money i have okay you guys still haven't named your ship either. I'm going to put that on the screen. If you guys double click on it, you can look and see what you already have. Um, 485. I actually owe Daphne 100 gold, though. So, Daphne, I'm going to give you the 100 gold I owe you. You do? No. Yeah. On the ship token. Oh, I'm going to take on, it off if you add it. On the, on the ship token. Yeah, I'll just on, add it. Okay. Under okay did features, you add it? Why do you owe him the money? <laughs> she yeah, lo just... loaned it to me to buy. I bought something with it. I don't remember what, but I had it in my notes. All right, Ryan, can you tell us about the ship upgrades? No. Where do we where do we look, Ryan? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. Sorry. <laughs> you double click on the ship token and go under features. It it has all the things that your ship currently has, and the one labeled crew effects has the effects of Oliver, Wally, and Farragon listed. Kind of move that around a little bit. And then there's a cargo and crew tab that also just specifically lists your empty jobs and your filled jobs with who they are and how much you'll have mm. to pay them while you're on a mission. Got it. But you should name your ship at some point. I'm not saying you got to do it today. I've already given you enough to look at without sitting here bullshitting about names. So. Oh, the Smashy. What was that? Queen Smashy. Queen Smashy? Huh? Sure. Forrest Gump Jr. So what are we doing right now? I like Misty. You guys are deciding if there's anything you want to mm. buy for your ship or for your supplies. But you told us you. to save our money. I did. But you the still may want to buy ride. stuff. That's up to you guys. The you don't know ride. that I'm telling you to save your money, so... Doesn't the ship have usually a female name that I'm being sexist? Yes, yeah. I said Misty. Do you, right. you hear me? Yeah. Right. I like Misty. What should... Not assuming anyone's gender here. A ship owned <laughs> by the Misfit Misfits. Misfit Misfits. Misfit. 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 That's a good Misfit. name, too. Mystic. Mis Mis Mystic Misfits. I'm not going to buy anything. Be called. Give me ten You're answers. How much money do you have, Daphne? What? So we can talk about if we need to spend money on the ship or not. Mm. I'm just gonna get a potion. Why is everyone so secretive about their money? We're a I'm team, aren't secretive. we? I have 744 gold. Okay, I have 950. You guys have a lot of money. How much do you have? Wow, a lot of these. Your party inventory has 500 gold, by the way. Where do we see the things we can buy on the ship? On the main title screen, there it's the bottom left book. We're all in the book. Okay, I'm looking at the actual ship thing. Yeah, go to the title page. And these are quite expensive. Yeah. You guys did buy a lot of stuff for the ship last time, too. We did. We yeah. did. I got that plan, right? Yeah, the oh. ship bush bot. Yeah. Yep. Yep, I've got it on the calendar for when it's supposed to come to life. When it's supposed to hatch. Oh, God. Um, when it's supposed to hatch, right. I will also note that you currently... So your ship can currently have nine people, four of which could be crew and five of which can be passengers. The five of you are the passengers. Um, The crew, you ha you're at three of four right now. And if you want to get more people for other bonuses, you will first have to purchase the... um the cabin upgrades. So there's the professional crew cabin, which increases it to six and seven and the deluxe crew cabin cabin that increases it to eight and nine. Mm -hmm. Racist. Which is on there. Is it racist? 
I said pricey. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, not really, but yeah. 3000 You guys have spent a lot of money. Yes. I mean, you're like, oh, I've got 900 Yeah, but it's like you guys have spent thousands at this point. You guys are, at the very least, going to have to buy rations for this, though, because the last one they were paid for, and this one they're not. So you will All have right. to buy that no matter what. And okay, let's buy rations. Pay, pay the crew, but Farragon doesn't need to eat and doesn't get paid. Okay. What rations do I have? I have some. Well, I'm talking about ship's rations, though. Oh. Mm. Okay. How much should we buy? It's on the ship upgrade section. It's you see that? I'm looking at it. Uh, I believe that because you guys don't have a cook, that it's going to be Nelios cooking it. So Yeah, I'll cook it. I mean, and the DCs aren't so bad for somebody who's already good at it. Where is it on the upgrade list? It's Near the on, top? It's the chart on your top, okay. Rations. I just miss a, oh there it is okay yep yeah. oh we get plus morale if we make the good ones mm -hmm. yeah your morale is currently ship stats your morale is currently at a zero. It starts at minus one, and you have the skull that brings it to a zero. And morale, <laughs> morale affects your, your ship ability checks and saving throw. Want to do the deluxe? Just hard to prep it, that's all, right? Well, it's easier than the fine, and it lasts longer. What's your modifier for cooking? Uh, what would it be? Do I is that a thing that I should know? Oh, okay, it's Let's literally see. on the first page of your character sheet at the bottom. Oh, I see. Plus five. All right. One point two gold, but that's not too bad. That's per day. Oh, per person per day, though. Yeah. Person per day. I guess that's quite a bit. Oh, you're talking about the, the good stuff. Tasteful. We it's lasts indefinitely. Plus one morale. It's only nine silver per person per day. Yeah, so that's that's like tasty jerky, right? It it there isn't really an end date on it. It's it's good food. That's why it's expensive, but it's not it's not really cooked. So, so, so when I say last, that means it, the food lasts till that many days till it spoils. Yes. Yeah, the last is the spoil the spoilage. Okay. So, how many days do we like have an idea of how many days this is going to take us? Yeah. Um. Let's see. So you guys, let's let's. Pop over to the anybody who wants to look at the world map. That's going to be under Player Regions World Map. So you're going from Diaphanous to you were told that you've got to go to the Igros Rainforest. Of course, Travis knows where that is. Mm -hmm. Um, each hex is twelve miles. Um, and your ship speed, what's the token? Um, uh, movement sails. Oh, no. I just have to remember where this is. It's probably under ship stats, I think. Um, action. Huh. I use AI to name the chats that you do. 48 miles per day. 
because you can sail at night. Because your your ship speed with sails is two miles per hour. So you can move 48 miles a day, which is so that's gonna mean four tiles per day. Okay. So how many tiles is it, Trev? You just use the measure uh -huh. stick. No. Oh, it's years. not even the member matter of tiles. It actually measures uh I forgot that I, I must have uh Man, I can't set waypoints. How the fuck do I set waypoints? Can you do it? Maybe we can't with the measuring stick. Maybe if I put the token out, it'll work. Yeah, the token works. Uh, 180 miles, so there and back is 360. And then however many days, so... What's a 360 divided by 12? 30? No, it's not right. Is it? 30. It's 30. Yeah, 30. Yep. Okay, so there is 15 days, back is 15 days, and then, um, um, however long it takes you to stop these people. Well, I know what kind of food they have in my cath, so we could always get food for the way there and then pick up more food for the way back. Plus it's the fine or the good food lasts fifteen days anyway. Yeah, I think so so we want to get more this, than that. Uh, let me I'm gonna change the number of days quick here because I didn't have like the tr when I set this up. I didn't have the traveling stuff. I think that it makes sense given how long it takes to get places that I should double all of the times. So I'm gonna do that. This five yeah. days doesn't make any sense given how I mean my cap isn't far and yet. So I'm doubling all the times. Okay. Okay. Save. There we go. But we're not gonna we're gonna be in my cath for more than a day, I would assume, so you can always switch what type of ration you're using too. Switch? Like for the way back, you mean? Yeah, you could buy like some that's good and it and expires quickly and eat that first. And then when it runs out, switch to a different ration that lasts longer. Like, but, for example, you could buy both delicate and tasteful. Wouldn't the time start as soon as we bought it? So wouldn't they both, right. the timer will start at the same time? Definite time, so that makes sense. Oh, yeah, that's true. I guess I wasn't considering tasteful. By delicate and admirable, you know, but... Yeah, you're right. Okay, anyway, uh, so 30 days total, and we have two people to feed. Now, do we have to count ourselves in those rations, too? You do. So it would be seven of us plus plus days, eight of us? Days isn't coming. Days, oh, okay, I thought he was saying. Oh, he was saying after he graduates. That's right. After you guys graduate. After we graduate, okay. Okay, um... Seven of us. Thirty days. What do you guys think? About what? <laughs> about, about what rations we should buy? No, just pick something. Two hundred. Why do I have to pick? Okay. okay, so maybe maybe the fine and a def and fine and tasteful. Sure. Go through the fine for the first ten days and then switch to tasteful for the last five. That gets us plus two for the First ten days, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Plus one for the last five, 
Okay. No, not much difference on price. Just you got the DC of fifteen to. So seven okay. gold a day. So seventy gold for just the fine, and then nine silver. Oh wait, a minute. I'll just have to take a calculator out. The nine, and then we gotta do seven people. Sixty-three silver, which is six point three gold. That's a seventy, so one hundred and thirty-three gold. Uh, a hundred. What did you get? Hundred and thirty-three. Wait. So it's nine times seven to get. That's what it is per day of silver, and then times five, right? Because we're doing five days for the tasteful. What did you do? No. Didn't we have seventy gold for the first part? Seventy gold, and then I. So I have seventy gold for for the fine, and then. 31 gold and 5 silver for the tasteful. But I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. No, maybe I didn't multiply right. So so 9 silver times 7 people is what it is per day. So 63 silver per day. Per day. Okay. Times 5. Times 5 days. 315. And that's silver. 31. 31 gold. 0.5 gold plus the original 70. Yeah, so 101 gold and 5 silver. Yeah. Okay. You want to take it out of the party money then? Yeah. 101.5. Uh, where's my token? Teresa, did you see my message? So he's five hundred, so three ninety nine, and five silver. We had five hundred, so yeah, we yeah, yeah. So I guess yep, I changed it. Here. Well, it was one hundred one, so it would be three ninety eight. I'm here. Silver. Why didn't you answer me? I did. I said no. Mm. Okay, then could you look at the message? If I can find it. It's in the chat. In the chat. Oh. I was looking on Discord. <laughs> All right, 398 and 5. I got it. Okay, if that looks oh, good. Okay. Teresa, you may want to write down for yourself a list of the things you're supposed to have advantage on, because when I was reading through your other ones, I realized you have advantage on some stuff that you haven't been taking because I forgot about it. Like what? Um, let me see. Oh, are you talking about like the cloud rune? I think is that what you're thinking of? Probably. But I, I knew that I had that, but because remember, I tried to use it one time for something else, but we weren't in a battle. How many have temporary hit points or something? Or a? Or I do. Oh, okay. Probably gone by now, no, though. That's not what the one I'm talking about. It's probably the other one. Um, <laughs> cloud. <laughs> what I just said. Oh, I thought you said stone. Did she say cloud? I thought you had another one that gave you advantage. Shit, maybe I'm wrong.
Oh, yeah. You have advantage on... Okay, yeah, it is cloud. Sleight of hand and deception. Because of cloud. Sleight of hand and deception because of cloud. And your new one gives you those two. Um... Oh, you laughing at <laughs> these, these names for these ships? I'm trying to oh. make them humorous. <laughs> They're ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What did you guys end up buying? Did you put it in the chat? Because I wasn't listening to any of it. Yeah, I can do it. Okay, I'm assuming nobody else wants to buy anything? No. Nope. How about Rash? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have a shift selected. When you say 10 fine, you mean 10 days? 10 days, yeah, sorry. Okay, so you guys only bought 15 days worth? Yeah, I thought we would buy okay, it so you'll be on out the way food back as soon as you arrive. I thought our rations were our personal rations. We have to buy food, more food on top of what food we already have. What food do you guys have? I have personal rations. I have a lot of personal rations. Okay, so what I'm saying is if you guys want the bonus for whatever you're buying, if you want the bonus, the plus whatever bonus, it's got to be everybody on the ship. Your regular mm -hmm. rations that you guys have are basic. Do we need to buy them for the return trip now? No. You guys, Travis is telling me you guys didn't buy food for yourselves, which is fine, but that means you guys are eating basic rations, which means the ship does not get any plus. No, no, no. The, the math is all for us. I did time seven. Okay. Yeah, it's seven of us for 15 days, so we've, hit, we've got enough for 15 days of travel, and then we'd have okay, to buy it so again. Then, so then as soon back. as you get to my calf, all you'll have left is your basic rep. Okay, so do we need to buy food for the crew? Correct. While we're there? I mean, you can give them your rations, that's fine. Okay. You have other rations, like... Right. Can we buy more once we get there, though, or do we have to pre-buy it? I you, guess can you can you can buy more if you run into another ship that's selling rations at sea. You could buy more. Can we get someone? We're in my cath, or we wouldn't be able to. If somebody's selling, I'm sure. Probably not at the rainforest, but you know, you could go to Gengara. Sounds like we should probably buy more then. Go we'll get another like. I mean, the other thing would be, what if you fail a check and. Well, I guess the food isn't wasted. It's just basic if you fail the check. But uh, Let me go back to the ship here. Where's my... T -t -t -t. All right, we already took it out for that one. We get... Uh... Why don't you just buy extra basic? I mean, it lasts indefinitely, so you'll have other food on the ship for... Yeah. Ooh. We could get more okay. tasteful. The tastefuls are more expensive, of course, but they're indefinite too. But it only matters while we're on the ship, so maybe we should get basic for just when we're there, like doing missions. Are the rations consumed if we're not on the ship, though? Because we don't pay them when we're not on the ship. Well, you guys pay them during the mission. It doesn't matter if you guys aren't on the ship. Okay. You just want to do basic then? Yeah, I think we maybe we do. Yeah, we just do some extra basic, I think. Right, so and then we'll, buy, we'll buy more stuff for the trip back. 35, if there's seven of us, 35 silver a day. You're going to get now 20 days worth. Yeah, that sounds good. So, what is it called? Negative times 35, 700. Silver. So 70 gold. Yeah, 70 gold. Okay. All right, we'll buy that. Uh, let me go back to the ship and deduct it. Or to the party. 
sorry. Out of the party money. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be three twenty eight. We get three ninety eight. So should we put this information somewhere? Or are you doing it, Joe? I'm going to. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this information into its own item and then put a column for how many you have. Okay. Except boundaries like doing something insane right now. Um, add column after. Um, you bought ten fine, five tasteful, and how many? Basic. Twenty Eight days. Twenty days worth. Yeah, I'm, I'm writing it as days. Okay, I'm only going to have you roll the check on a day when something happens, so we're not going to have to make 50 fucking checks. Okay. Oh, check the fucking shit. I don't know why. There we go. Cargo. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Talk in a corner. She in your face? She was, yeah. Give I got fucking okay, next to me. Hey, buddy, I love yes. you. Yes. Oh, that's out of the way. Not that that phone was out of the way. Um. Oh, hey, Steve. You got jealous. Okay, here we go. You guys set sail, and um, on the way there, there's no rough weather, there's nothing weird at all that happens. You guys make it all the way to the coast. And I need to get the date updated now. So it's going to be... Tenth of winter. Okay. Um. You guys remember what your mission was? <laughs> Kill. Uh, we're killing two different things. Um, but I didn't catch. The name. I, I, so I didn't know the spelling. So I know some people eating ship passengers. Tuatoa and Sahuagan. That was it. Oh, we never ship Robocop. And which rations would you guys have been eating on the on the way there? You'd be eating the fine for the first ten days, and then the five tasteful for the last okay. five. Got it. So, yeah, so when you guys arrive, the crew is in a pretty good mood because they've been eating good food. Um, well, you probably wouldn't do... Oh, no, you probably would do tasteful. Okay. You ate all the good food on the way there. Everybody's in a great mood. Sweet. That's a plus two. Why don't you make one check for basically the last day here? Grab okay. <laughs> all right, well... Everybody was in a great mood. I oversalted it. I got excited to no. go back to my Terrible. island. I haven't been here in a long time. You poured way too much sugar on the fish. Wait, I'll fix it. Uh, fix it. I fucked it up more. Oh, fuck. I throw my meal overboard when he's not looking. <laughs> it's not that bad. Jeez. I throw it overboard when he is yeah. looking. He throw it Looking and, and in the like, eyes. It, it's, it's in the water for a minute, and then like dead fish start to <laughs> pop up in the water. It's okay, Nelly. I use form of dread, but I want to kill everybody. 
<laughs> I deduct a ration that I eat it. <laughs> he eats regular whack rations. All right. Well, should we go inland and see if uh, anybody knows where we can find these? Oops. So we are, are we docked or something, Joe? No, I mean, this is a rainforest. There's no docks. Oh, okay. Uh, how boat. well would I know the area? Do I know the rainforest that well? I mean, you're, I mean, this isn't a, your island isn't, you, I mean, it's yeah. It's big, but I'm it's sure not I've been huge. Here. Um, so roll a uh, history check with advantage. Okay. History. Um, yeah, I mean, there are, are people who live in the rainforest, but, like, there isn't any docks or anything. It's, um, there's not really any real settlements in the rainforest. Okay, so we'll use one of our little boat things to and stay anchored out in the water. What are these Kuatoa and Bangin, Bahagin, Sahagin, Sahagin, Nelios? I tell them what they are. Um, Yeah, (laughs) Kuatoa are disgusting fish people. Um, They're they're basically like. Salmon with arms and legs. Ew. Um. To be honest, they're pretty fun to kill because they're crazy. You can you eat them if they're like salmon? Uh. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't eat them. There, I posted uh, one. Would you eat a goblin? Maybe. No, you wouldn't. Meanwhile, so so Wagon are more like creature from the Black Lagoon type guys. See, they don't sound tasty. So if you look in the chat, that's the what the two look like. Okay. So do you think uh that, are these are these creatures on boats, or they're just attacking people out of the sea? Well, I think they're probably pretty good at swimming. So, um, beach or in the water, maybe? Makes sense? Well, I don't know why you'd think they'd be on the beach, since okay, it's, it's a rainforest. There's no, like, beach leading to the rainforest, it's just, like, well, who the would they be the attacking thing? on the beach of the rainforest? Okay, so where are they attacking then, I guess? You only know what you were told. You didn't ask any questions. Attacking <laughs> ships. <laughs> Maybe we should just sail up and down the coast and like see if they attack us. Do I know of any people that live that are that live in the rainforest that I could ask? I'm sorry, what was your question? I was reading. Do I know any, like, tribes or anything that live in the rainforest that I could visit to ask? Um, you certainly don't. You're from Seven Claw Canyon and have not, during your lifetime, left all that often, other than to go to college. Um, it's actually unlikely that you've ever been to the rainforest before. You would know... What type of creatures live there, but you wouldn't know where any settlement might be, and you're pretty sure there isn't any significant settlements in the rainforest. You know, you got that that nineteen on on history. Um, so you think it's unlikely that you would be able to find somebody friendly to talk to in the rainforest? Okay, so I don't know who they're attacking. Um, ships. Hmm? They're attacking. He told us they're attacking ships and eating the passengers. We should just sail up and down, right? Maybe. But I'm just wondering why ships would be over here if there's not people. Unless they're. Um, I mean, in. any any ship coming from the Ottawa Islands to Mike Gaff would 
regardless of where in Minecraft they're going, have to go past the rainforest. So, okay, so it'll be most likely Otter Way to Gangara. And then any ship, Gangara. regardless of where they're coming from, if they wanted to get to the capital, they have to go up the river. Okay. Which is big enough for ships to travel on, but necessitates that they would have to go through the rainforest to get there. So the capital is Proxidnos, and it's connected to the ocean by, by that river. Which also goes quite close to Seven Claw Canyon, and um, okay, so maybe that's the first place we check. We go south down the coast and check the river. Yeah. Okay. The cardinal I care about is in the Arcarios Fissures. Oh, just saying. Hmm? Do I do I know this cardinal, Joe? Benvir. Well, hold on. I was looking up. So the rainforest, um, Nelios, you know, consists of um, Sahuagin and Kuatoa, of course. And then there are also Yuan Ti, which are snake people, Tortles, which are turtle people, Hado Z, <laughs> which are monkey people, um, and Moon Elves. Moon Elves. Tortles. Those are hard to find. Monkey people? <laughs> Chris. Yeah. Well, I'm a I'm a dragon person. Why like, wouldn't there be a monkey person? She's a she's a rabbit I'm a person. Rabbit. He's a he's a bird person. Bird man. But monkey people's where you draw the line? Mm-hmm. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so that's the list. I can't believe it. I just love that he heard snake people, turtle people, monkey people, and was shocked that there was monkey people. The thing about the monkey people is it's like the most likely of all of them doing it. Yeah, <laughs> it's no. literally the most likely. So that's a Hado Z. They, wow. Th- th- they people, people? have, um, they're like wow. flying squirrels too, and that they have um, flaps of skin that attach from their um, their ankles to their wrists. But none of these people are so particularly can, friendly, can, though. Um, or I just I don't mean, know. You, do, I mean, you don't know which ones would be friendly and which one wouldn't, okay. because the the people who live in the fissures don't really have anything to do with the people who live in the rainforest. Right. Completely, completely different gotcha. environment. Um, and then yeah. Chris was wondering. He said something very strange to me. So there's a cardinal on the fissures. I mean, maybe he's right. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Cardinal of Benvir, you said, I think. Deities. Yeah. Ash. What are you saying? Can you type it? Oh, Ash or Kalkum. Um Okay. So the Arcarios fissures is where um Nelios is from. Yeah. So it's interesting that you haven't talked to him about this. Yeah. Do I so can I he mentioned it now, can I figure out if I know this answer? Like if I know who he is? You know who he is. Okay. Um and do I know would I know where his temple is? Yes. Okay. Uh do I know anything about his personality or if he's suspicious? If he's suspicious. Like does does he have a good reputation in my town? Like if somebody mentioned his name would we go, yeah, "Oh yeah, he's, he's a good guy." He's, he's a super tough guy. He's super tough. Okay, he's tough. Okay. Super tough. Very strict. A lot of respect. Um, okay. I mean, you know, he's a Ben he's a he's a classic Benvir guy, right? Okay. Kind of an asshole, but you know, a good asshole. Okay, I got it. Um he is also he is also half tiefling, half earth genasi. That's cool. Uh-huh. 
Earth Genasi. That's a cool um, one. And I, I'll I'll put it on the map for you next time now that it matters. Um, but um Nelios knows that that is right there. Cool. Uh, what do you want with Ash? We gotta find out uh is he suspicious too? Um uh, I don't know. Oh. You gotta find out what? What's up with those other guys? With the, the two with the bishops doing stuff. Okay, so you just want to find out if he's involved? Uh, I want any information he can get me about so, this stuff. So we want to find out if he knows about the dagger. Yeah. Okay. He's a priest or he's a bishop or what is this? He's uh, the cardinal. Or... He's the head. Oh, he's a cardinal. Okay. Tippy top. Part of the problem when this stuff comes up is you guys don't remember anything about your own backstories. So. When I say something like, oh yeah, the Cardinal lives in the Arcarios Fissures, and Travis just doesn't say anything. When did I say? I did say you're... something. I don't mean today. So you're from oh. the Fissures? When did Chris you say was, that before? Chris was told that that's where he was when you guys went to the Benvir Temple in Rilborg. I would be surprised that I didn't say anything. I don't know if I was told that. I didn't. I already knew where he was from before. I don't think it came up. But I didn't know where in Mycath you were from. I just knew Mycath, I think. So you're told, from the. He's told you he was from Seven Claw Canyon. That's why it's on the map. Yeah. I added it when he told you guys, so I know that. Just like I added Smashy's place when she told you where she was from. Well, I know nothing about Seven Claw Canyon. Teresa's place. Yeah. Does anyone else know about, anything? What about me? About Seven Claw Canyon. What do you ask? Tell us about it. Um, it's a canyon. Um, there's a lot of really good food. Uh, my people are from there. Really tough. A lot of a lot of paladins and warlocks. Um, mostly people that serve really cool gods like Dalga and Golvir and and Sormis. Um, uh, there's 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 these caves that are really dangerous. Uh, that's partly why we're pretty much excluded from a lot of uh a lot of trade uh because it's super dangerous in that area and, and that's just because of uh vathis um who's a, a mythic <clears throat> there's a lot of a lot of monsters that are in that area and we're we're trying to figure out uh, we, we have like a whole system to keep the monsters at bay most most of my family takes care of that and um, it's getting pretty bad. That's probably the reason why I wanted to come to school here was to get stronger, so I could uh, really be really if I could kill Vathis, that would be the best case scenario. But um, I lost some family members in the cave uh, a while back. Um, oh, so my older brother right now is taking taking lead of the of the. The troop situation there, so um, nice to help him out once once I've graduated. What's his name? Uh, Eros. So you do have a nemesis. How do you spell it? He's my brother. E R O S. What's the specialty of the food there? Um. Did I? Then I come up with something. I don't remember. I feel like we came up with a list of food that was in the area, but I don't know where I would have written it. I'm glad we're visiting somewhere other than my hometown. I can ask a lot of questions about <laughs> yeah. it. And not have to oh, answer them. Yo, we, 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 literally, we literally discussed this. I even looked up like what food it would grow in a can near a canyon. I don't remember where I would have put that. Um, what are you asking me? What food you eat? Like what? What's like the popular food of the area? And I know that I looked up like what food grows there, and we talked about this, but I don't remember where I would have written it. It's okay. not in my bio that I have. Hmm. 
the monkey people. Um, <laughs> There's this bread they make with the monkey people. The monkey bread. Mm-hmm. <laughs> monkey people bread. <laughs> MPBs. <laughs> Who's Vathis and where is he? Uh, Vathis is in is in the uh, Underdark, pretty much. What? The, the under? You know what the Underdark is, right? Yeah, but like, why why is he giving you a hard time? Uh, he just, he has a lair. I don't, we really don't know. Uh, it's been there for a very long time. He's an ancient, uh, where's, deep where's dragon. He, does he, like, pop out or something? He doesn't pop out so much. I, I actually don't know, Joe, if we've actually ever seen him in particular, or if we've just heard, like, legends about him or not, but... Um, your, your people have seen him. Your people have fought him. Okay. Him okay. But um, there's a really cool uh, mythic, Zephyrus. He's a ancient sapphire dragon. Ooh. Is there a river dragon? There's not a river dragon. Is there was a war that... between Zephyrus and and Vathis, and uh, you know, years ago, but. It didn't really come to any kind of favor to either side. Kind of was a stalemate. But that's pretty much why it's it's called Seven Claw Canyon because a lot of the canyon was formed by that fight. Yeah, um, Travis. Yeah. I think I think that what we had actually talked about is what your favorite foods were, not what the foods of the place were. Uh, okay. Um. This is this is the list. I mean, so I just assume you like you like the food that you had. Okay, that's right. Yep. Apple. I looked apples? up I looked up different vegetables and and animals that would be near like a canyon. So you got like lambs and boars and apples. Apples. Well, we really are, had to go deep into agriculture because the area isn't. Always ideal, but there's certain oh, yeah. like oasis type areas no, that are no, really good for growing no, it's stuff. No, just like you you haven't had an apple till you've had a canyon apple. You got to have a canyon apple. I'm telling you, I'm writing that down. Canyon apples. I'm going to write it yeah. in caps. And in <laughs> six months, I'm not going to remember what it means. Have you ever had a canyon apple pie? Those are the best. Canyon apple pie. <laughs> Cap. Maybe we can stop by over here. Yeah, that would be um, really nice. I haven't seen well, my family in a while. I think your family would be disappointed to, to see you doing that's true. What? Other, than, other than training. What would they be? That's true. Disappointed? Oh. Disappointed? Fuck. <laughs> Disappointed! <laughs> Man, your family doesn't seem very happy. Well, we have been fighting against a... a Caves and caves worth of of monsters for a very long time, and, and a lot of our families literally died. Oh, yeah. So hmm. that's not fun. No, no, yeah, it's not fun. Agriculture is something to be proud of, but sometimes so fighting sad. is fun, but. Do you think Vathis is is uh, more powerful than uh, the Titan we defeated? Oh, definitely. Oh, okay. Well, we probably shouldn't fight him then. Yeah, I think we got to do a bit more training. My my brothers have been are really strong, and they struggle against pushing back the monsters. So. Well, I'd ask how the banking system is down there, but we should probably get to our mission. So, yeah, we're gonna sail down and towards a river, maybe. See if we counter some 
of these guys? Yeah, I mean, is there a contact here that we should know about? Like, how how will we know if we've defeated them all? You guys will have to figure that out. No, he didn't ask. Um, on, on the topic of dragons, <laughs> just you guys do have some information. I'm going to share that to you guys just because there's no way you remember that you have it. Um, that Good is idea. the general knowledge on dragons. Are there any river dragons? There's 20 of them. Um, roll an intelligence check to see if you know if there's such a thing as a river dragon. Mm -hmm. Um, you, Mm -hmm. you, um, don't think that there are any types of dragon that specialize in living in rivers but there are certainly water dragons Hmm. for example you know that dragon turtles exist and that there are other dragons that that particularly like water but yeah that that... specific to river that last paragraph should tell you guys how strong dragons are compared to titans and gods. I closed it. Oh. Um, I will give you that specifically you know that bronze dragons like water. Hmm. What? Bronze, bronze dragons particularly like water. <laughs> Ron. Did, you, did you think he said Ron? Because yeah. I, I thought he said Ron. <laughs> Ron, 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 Ron. I, heard, I, heard, I heard Ron too, but I figured out that he was saying bronze. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, who is Ron? <laughs> Ron Dragon huh. loves rivers. Ron Dragon. <laughs> That's really funny. Anyway, guys, any other questions that I may may or may not know? I'll probably have to ask Joe. No, let's go kill some fish. Okay. This is one of those those sessions where you guys are testing the fuck out of my lore and like over here <laughs> frantically <laughs> looking shit up and then you ask me another question. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't want to tell them anything they're not supposed to know. <sighs> this is why I just made it all up when we went to my hometown. It was much easier. <laughs> and did I tell you you were wrong about any of it? No, I didn't. <laughs> I added it all in. We even made up like a fucking cafeteria or whatever. Yeah, that's right. Skewers. Okay. Skewers are the specialty. <laughs> okay. Um. So I think what I want, let me look at your um ship stats here and just see if the ship should be making the check or if you guys should be making the check. Uh, it makes sense for somebody to make the check and use the ship's bonus. So you guys have a plus two right now. Um, so what I'm going to say is two different people can make perception checks. Whoever you think the two people who would be most responsible for looking for signs. Um, you can use survival instead. I don't care. So survival or perception, pick two people and then add two to whatever you get as a result of the ration. You guys definitely deserve that bonus. Uh, you got to decide who. Daphne and me? Yeah. Okay. Group gets an 11. Daphne gets a 12. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, so this is just a matter of time before you find something. Um, unfortunately, you guys rolled bad enough that it does take three days. Sorry, guys. Um, and so, mark off, or I guess I'll do it. Three more days of rations off your ship. Um, let's go to cargo. So you've got. At this point, um, 17 days 
of the basic stuff left. Have to have some of that monkey apple pie soon. Yep, you're gonna have to go to shore and kill some monkeys and eat them. What? You don't, have a, you don't really have a choice but to kill and eat some monkeys. I I'm excited to go eat these monkeys. Right. Oh, I've always wanted to meet eat a monkey man. You know, Yarrow, if you help me after we graduate, if you help me kill Vathis, if we're strong enough, then think of all the untapped mining you could do in my caves. Ooh, yeah. Tr uh. Your people aren't really miners, <laughs> even though you live in caves. We're not. We're not miners, and it's not really possible with all the monsters. We can't really spend yeah. time oh my doing God. that. Is that a pickup line? I don't know, I don't know how much. Like. I'm yeah. interested in the mining anymore, to be honest. Oh, oh really? Yeah, I'm trying to change so my ways. <laughs> good job, Joey. <laughs> that was good. He yeah. loves miners. All right, fine. I love oh. miners. Well, my uh, family might be though. I could certainly have them come down. They'd love them. Family over. Yeah. We'll, we'll right. make a contract and. Yeah. Oh, they, that'd we'll be, be great. I might be happy to have them come down. Yeah, they'll be proud of you. Yeah. Daphne, you spot uh -huh. a, a rowboat <laughs> um, floating near the shore. You see that there's somebody lying inside of it, but you can't make out any more than that, except that the, whoever's in this rowboat is not moving. It's near the shore. Um, I should move your token. You guys are kind of coming around the corner, and so it's kind of right there. You see this rowboat with uh, somebody in it. Is it sorry? Did you say that it was like on the shore, or it's floating near the shore? It's near the shore. It's floating in the water near the shore, on its own. Okay, I want to call out. Uh, what do I want to call out? Hey, uh, wait. What do I want to say? Hey, you in the boat? Um. Okay. You are at the point of spotting this person, like 600 feet away. Uh-huh. Do you want uh -huh. to closer, or are you shouting from there? No, tell me more. <laughs> I shouted. Did I not? Did they not hear me? I would say that you don't know whether or not they heard you, but they didn't move. Okay. Um, guys, there's someone in um, a rowboat floating near the shore. Should we go check it out? Permission might over fire. No, they might be per they might be hurt. They might need our help. What if what if somebody with wings flew over there? Do you know anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Looking around. <laughs> let's just, let's, the one who asked. <laughs> let's just get closer. Uh, okay, I want to fly over there and and look in the boat. Can you fly indefinitely now? I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how fast do you go? I just want to know how much you're outpacing the ship by. The ship can move. Um, it's got a movement speed of 25 feet, and it can only use its movement once per turn, so it can't dash. I could dash at 60, and I could expeditiously go faster if I would need it. Okay, do you? I'm asking you what you do, not yes. what you could do. Yes. Okay, so you're going 60 feet. The ship is going 25 feet, so you outpace it pretty good. Um, at 600 feet, it's going to take you 10 rounds to get there, which would mean that the um, ship is going to take... Uh, in Chicago... I don't know, 25 rounds, something like that. I'm, I don't want to do the math. Um, but when you get about halfway there, um, you hear shouts from the ship and turn around and see that creatures have climbed up the sides of the ship and are attacking your friend. Balls. What friend? You! Yes. <laughs> Me? What friend? Me specifically? <laughs> okay, so where is everybody on the ship? I'm closest to where I can, uh, like, for the little boat. You know what I mean? Like, I would have been... Okay, you're yeah, in the front. Right so what is it? This way? Surrounded. Yeah. 
I would. I wanted to be with her. I mean, that's where I would be. I mean, um, yes, I okay. was honest. Melios is with her. Yeah. I suppose watching Baruch just to see what yeah. what he does yeah. would make yeah, sense, right? It's the first time something's happened in the three days. Yeah. They were all excited. I'm tired of Nellius' shitty food. Um, hey, and the stories. You eat that mesquite boar and you like it. I mean, <laughs> for most of the trip, it's been delicious. It's just fucked up. <laughs> yeah, but not but Oliver, one meal. Oliver would be back with the ballista because he's the artillerist. And Wally would probably be up at the front with you guys because he's a doctor. Um, is that everybody? I've got Farragon, I've Farragon, got Oliver. Yes. Oh no, I'm missing Silas. Silas. Silas is probably just in the middle, like you wouldn't have him at the front of the ship. Yeah, he's taking a nap. Oh, he's asleep? Okay. So he is well. Well, he was. I'm sure, I'm certain he's not anymore. I mean, he's dead. I mean, no, I mean, he's he's in the initiative. Uh, he's okay, not. Okay, so so he's eaten. All right, all right. Well, okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay, let's see what happens when I add all these people to the initiative. There's probably going to be somebody in the initiative that's not supposed to be. I'll figure that out later. Um, I mean, we're probably not going to make it all the way through this fight, so we'll have to pause, but that just means we'll start in the middle of a fight, the fight next time. Um, and so the rowboat was a distraction. Um, you can find out later that there, it's just like a man made of hay in, in the rowboat. It's not a person. Um, and it takes them long enough to climb up that there is no surprise round, but we, they, they're already on the ship when combat starts, so you guys can roll your initiative. You should have bought that telescope. How do I roll? Oh, there we go. And Silas goes in here so there was more person in the initiative that wasn't supposed to be. My next question is, um, do you want any of your crew actually manning any part of the ship, or should they just act on their turns? Um, I think the latter, because they're not going to fire any hey. weapons at the ship itself at this point. Right, right. so act on their turn. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think so. The ship out of, there is no other ship that's part of this, and so you don't need... Um, it, it, otherwise, I would force the ship to be in the initiative, but it doesn't need to be. Okay, Daphne, okay. you rolled the highest. Actually, I should probably check and see if anybody rolled a crit, because they should, any crit should go first, regardless of what the number was. Wow, all these initiatives, not a single crit, not a single one. Oh. Oh, no, wait, there was a one. Maybe there was a crit, I guess it didn't. Okay, I, I don't care enough. Uh, Daphne, you're first. Oh shit, I need sound effects. Game's paused, if that matters. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you gotta grow yourself. Oh yeah, I forgot. Step on his head. Is it going to show the whole fucking thing every time you use it? Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can change it. Inventory, sunbrain, edit. Um, mm. Is the top supposed to be in order, or is it just it is random? Order. Is it? Not for me. It's just, it's just in the middle. Whoever's turn it mm. is is in the middle. Oh. 
Got. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Uh. Well, I'm gonna click it again, so we'll see if it worked. But. Okay, I think I got it. Just. Who are you attacking, though? <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you this guy. Okay, let me move you back so that I can. Okay, yeah, these guys have low AC, so a 21 absolutely hit. Does a nine kill him? Oh. No, he's barely in. <laughs> uh, should I roll a two d? What is that? Two d six. You want to know if you should roll your damage? Oh, I gotta. I'm trying to talk about what it is. Oh, I'll use 2D6. the four you already rolled. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that worked. Sweet. Okay, anybody who has a weapon with a long description, Wait. please pay attention for a second here. It okay. didn't work for me. What do you mean? I still see the full description. Oh, yeah, it did. Fuck. Okay. I'm just blind, I guess. Jesus. You're not blind, Joe. Only somewhat blind. got to be a way to do this um other people are you could you also fuck with your items and help me here yeah, i'm looking at the details area right now trying to see well i went to quick quick roll and turned off properties okay. and i thought that did it but it didn't oh. let's see That's still the little thing for me. <laughs> because this is really annoying, so we gotta... Is it the change for... Er, no, never mind. Message flavor. Damage formula. Roll up its properties. Gotta check that. That's what he was just talking about. That was, that was the one you tried. Yeah. seven times it's still not working for me what are you talking about i just rolled again and it didn't and it's still for showing me it's, the whole thing. for me it's collapsed does any what's everybody else seeing it's not collapsed for me i don't know not. how to collapse it yeah. so, where'd you go game really? settings it just worked for me not for anybody else oh if you click on the 
the arrow, it collapses it down. To sure, but damage. just just for that roll, if you roll again, it still is uncollapsed. Does it? Okay. Yeah. Daphne, if you roll again, can you roll one more time? Well, for, for me, for me, it's working. So maybe it's just yeah. a matter of refreshing. Um, yeah, re refresh, refresh. Re refresh your page and see if it's fixed now. It, it, did you do I, something it, with the generic settings or I did with the okay. I set it to automatically collapse item descriptions okay. Okay. Uh, is that something we can each change individually if this doesn't I work it for everyone oh it did not work for me Yeah, me either. No. Okay. Um, do you guys have in the top right corner gears? Yeah. Okay, just um go into that and on the top left search bar type in collapse. Oh, I don't have a I don't have a search bar. Yeah. <laughs> Are you Configure settings, configure controls. Oh, he hit configure settings already, okay. Alright, what do you hit in the search bar? Oh, collapse. Collapse. Collapse oh, item cards in chat. Yep. Save yep. changes. There it goes. Yep, yeah. works for me. Okay. Yep. Ray. I Apparently, change for everybody didn't work for me, but it's good that you guys can change it yourself. Smashy, did okay. you find it? So yep. Your, seven, your second attack was a 17 for 11 damage. Did you say you were going to do something else? No. No? Okay. Is that your turn then? As long as. Did he take the four damage from the meat yep. getting large? Okay. Yes. That's it then. Okay. Wow. Why? Why? Wow. wow. That's just well, that's a lot of guys for you know to kill one of them. Well, tell me about it. They um. I want to use all my stuff right in the first guy. Maybe you'll die before you get to go again. It's not true. I won't. I'm invincible. I'm a large oh, bunny. Good. Oh, good. Okay. You. <laughs> Joey, how come it's not like um? There's no one glowing. I don't know, but it's waiting for you to end your turn. I can't, because uh, it's not... I was trying There's to nothing. explain. You guys kept talking over me. Um, okay. If you go up to the top, it should, it, and you go to your um, your character in the initiative at the top, you should be able to end your turn. Otherwise, you can go to the top right, and there's a... Um... Oh, Jesus Christ, never mind. I was going to say it says not started, I so... <laughs> yeah, that's my fault. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Okay, um... Okay, well, this guy's just gonna attack Farragon. No! Oop. Um, let's see. Yeah, he's going to swing his blade. Uh... That is an 18 for 16 slashing. Um, Farragon's uh, AC is only 13, um, but he is resistant to physical damage. So he's going to take half. Um, he's going to swing again. That's another hit. He's going to take half. And then he is going to bite him. And yep. again, he's going to take half. I should have. Yeah, that guy's strong. Alright. Um, next, Oliver goes. And he um, sees these two guys that got on next to him. I'm pretty sure his musket is his strongest thing. Um, he'll wait on his grenade. Uh, so he gets, I think, two musket shots. Yep. So he's going to shoot. Bang, bang. 
and hit the one closest to him twice. Okay, the one that um, Daphne was attacking is now going to attack her back. Um, first, it's going to try to Rude. bite you. Miss. And then it's going to try to hit you with his staff. Um, that is an 18. Hold on, where's my thing again? Oh, I'm an 18. Your AC is 18. Okay, that hits. Um, you are currently grappled. By this, which just means you can't move away unless you either kill him or break the grapple. Since you're already fighting him, it doesn't really make a difference, does it? How do I do I full damage? Did I do it? No, you didn't take any damage. You still got full health. Oh, how come I clicked on it? Did you click your token first? Don't tell me what to do. Okay, you are, you're okay. up. Don't tell me what to do. Fireball <laughs> time. Okay. You're blowing your own ship. Yep. Over here. When you say it like that, it doesn't sound smart. Well, can I throw it into the air so it doesn't... The ship so much. You can, but what? remember it's a sphere. Where are you putting? You're putting yeah. it right there. Over uh, there. Yeah, yeah, you can make it so that it doesn't really hit the ship. That's fine. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, well, there. if you do that though, it's not going to hit this guy because he's uh, at the edge. In order to hit uh, him, you've got to you've got to. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Hit the okay. ship. Um. So somebody make a dexterity saving show for the for the ship, please, and we can add plus two for that. Um. Meanwhile, these guys. Oh. Did I just roll... The sh oh, they're not the natural token. ones. They're failed. Oh. That's why they're coming up red. Oh, uh, okay. Uh... Yeah. Wait, wait. Someone needs to... Okay. You guys... The, the, um... The steering wheel is the... Oh. I, I thought I had the steering wheel clicked. But it still rolled it as Nelios. Really? Yeah. Get out of this. Hmm. Here we That's go. Interesting. How do you make you saves as silos? I just have them clicked. I did exactly what I just did. Oh, Should so I you get? did it wrong. Okay, that's how it works. But you got to use the seventeen because I rolled yeah, that first. Yeah, I got to use the seventeen. Phew. Um, which does succeed. So you did it. Yay! Hooray! Okay, so that guy takes all the damage. He's bloodied. That guy dies. That guy is injured. And this guy succeeded. And he's barely hurt by it. The ship succeeded. So it's going to take half damage. Um, is the ship vulnerable to fire? It, no. It is not. The sails are vulnerable to fire. That's what it means. The ship itself, the hull, is not. Okay. And then so you I'll already bard, killed one. Yeah, I'll bardically inspire uh, Cyrene. Right, I'll yeah. say, Cyrene, you're the nearest to me. Save me. Did she ever... Smashy, did you ever get your dexterity book applied that you read? Yes. You asked her that oh, at the okay. very beginning of the session. I didn't know that. I, I didn't know if her, that was in character, her answering me or not. Inspiration has run off its designated attribute. I don't know why it's saying that, but whatever. I didn't do anything special. Like I don't. I don't know what you I mean. Your dexterity okay. is twenty-two now, correct? Got it. Yes. I will. That's really what I was asking. Day there, so I'm done. Bardic inspiration, you said, is out of uses yeah it was i got rid of my character sheet hold on to me no it's I just changed five it. right there what i because i changed it but if i click on it, it says bardic inspiration has run out of his designated attribute did you like not long rest before i told you guys the long rest well, it says mm -hmm. four out of five on the uses i thought i did 
long rest. Hmm. I just I went into edit and changed the uses. That's why it's changed. Otherwise, it wasn't working. I'm gonna so get it was at zero. No, it was at five of five, and then I changed it to four or five. Okay, like if well, I use it now, it, it still comes it. up with the error. Let me fix it. Okay. Where the fuck is? Let me fix it. Let me fix it. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. I can't edit the spells that don't have pop-ups. This is not at all. Get rid of that. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Make it a five. Okay, try it again. Right, there it goes. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. And Teresa, you gotta add that to your token, please. Right. Wally! Wally has a short sword, and he has a whole bunch of spells. Um, okay, so he could, he could pop a heal on either Faragon or Daphne if you guys wanted. Um, he can Guiding Bolt, he has uh, four level one spell slots and two level two spell slots, or he could try to hold person one of these guys, or he could bless. Bless up. Bless. What do you guys want him to do? Be quick, or I'm going to decide. Okay, he cast a bless. Heal. Nope, you took too long. You cast a bless yeah, at level two. Um, that's going to be on Daphne, Nelios, Yaro, and Cyrene. So add bless to your character sheets. On the effect. Um, you guys can now add a d4 to uh, attack rolls and saving throws. That's there it is. Concentrating. Um, he is going to back up so that he's right at the edge here because he doesn't want to be in the fight. Um, that is his turn. I want the NPCs to go quick. Um, this guy is going to hop on board and rush up and attack Yarrow. It's advantage. He's going to try to bite you. I don't remember which is which. Shift? Nope, that was the wrong one. That's a six. And then he tries with his staff. Ooh, the natural That's 20 is negated by the disadvantage. That's a 21. Um, you're hit for 7 damage. And you are grappled. He's got you... Now the thing about the grapple is that basically they have these staves that have... Um... Oh, can I share the picture? Oh, let me see if I can share Like the little picture. crab pincer thing? Yeah, can you see it? I can see it. Where can you see it? I can see it in the chat. Where it says pincer staff. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, he's got you grabbed by that. But what that Ooh. means is because he has you grappled with it, he can't attack with it if his turn comes again. Cool. So mm. there's there's actually kind of a plus. You can't move away, but he also can't hit you with it again because he's using it to hold on to you. Mm. Okay. Um, okay, that's his turn. Uh, next is the Kuatoa Archpriest. slightly different dumbass picture. <laughs> These guys look like... So Remember them in BG3, Travis? Whoa! Yeah. yeah. I knew it sounded familiar, and then when you described them, I was like, oh, it's those guys. What, what um, language do they speak? Oh, I'll ask it my turn. Um... <laughs> make an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, this guy's casting a spell. Yaro, do you do I'm it? Counter, yeah, I'm going to counterspell it. Okay. Um, what level? Uh, t -t 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 uh, just yeah. level three. Regular. Level three, okay, make yeah. a spellcasting ability check, which is basically a d20 plus your um, charisma 
you have jack of all trades, so you're going to get half proficiency rounded down on this. Hopefully it does it. No, you just rolled a d20 instead of rolling charisma. <laughs> roll, roll, roll charisma, let's see what happens. Just roll a charisma ability. Let's see if it... Oops, I, I hit advantage, that was me. Um, it rolled... Yeah, it did it. It, it says uh, d20 plus 5 plus 2. So you should have a plus 7. You rolled a 10, that's a 17, so you succeed. So you have used your reaction, but you counterspelled his level four hold person. He was trying to cast it on three of you. Holy shit balls. Get rid of uh So that's one of the nice things about counterspell on a bard is that counterspell is supposed to when you roll it, it's supposed to be just your charisma. No proficiency at all when you do it, but because it's an ability check and you have jack of all trades, you still get half proficiency on. Huh. That's one thing that's been really sweet for Liberté because I've I'm a level ten sorcerer but a level three bard is that I get jack of all trades on my counter spells. So I, I get a little boost on those. Um I didn't know that Liberté wore little boots. Yeah, he wears little boots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that's his turn. He fights Ron Dragons. Yeah. yeah, fight Ron Dragons. He's, he's actually a wrestler. Professional wrestler. This guy's going for Silas. Oh, no. <laughs> Tries to bite him. Does a 16 hit? Oh, what is his AC? Uh, his AC is 16. It's 16. Um, you, if you guys don't know your AC, you can right-click and there's a little shield. Yeah, if you just double... I double-clicked on his token, though. He misses with the pincer staff, though. So he, he takes four damage. Okay, how do I take bit by a fish. now? <laughs> Wait a second. How do I make him Cyrene, take the damage? Click on his token and then hit the damage. Oh, it just looked different. Okay. I'm just rolling this Joe to get rid of the spell slot. Sure. The um the, the damage markers, I definitely like it. It's It's definitely an improvement over what it used to be. Except yeah. we were talking in my other group that we think the order is backwards. Mm-hmm. It, it goes healing, temporary hit points, double damage, quarter damage, half damage, regular. It's like, why is regular on the far right? That doesn't make any yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm attacking the one in between me and uh, Dr. Vaslo. Okay. Uh, you have advantage. Oh my god, you crit this fucker. Holy shit. Roll your grab Yaro, bitch. It. Oh my god. This guy is going to take so much fucking damage. This is your first roll with your improved sneak attack. Now make it a crit. You hit the little dice next to the 16. Okay. (laughs) Oh my fucking god. Wow, 35. He must be dead as fuck. You just did 55 damage to this guy. In one stab. She sliced um, off his head, his both his arms, and both his legs. He Six is seconds. still alive. Oh, never mind. But he's Damn. real fucking hurt. Alright, this next one. Let's go and get him. Uh, oh. 21 for 4 damage. You got a lot of fucking health. You did 59 damage, and he's still alive. Mm-hmm. These are healthy guys. Oh, it balls. Oh, could I use the 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 bless? Roll a d4. Ned it wouldn't help on you. The attack roll oh. oh. Okay. This guy is um, still you know a lot. You know what though? What? Um, the the bard rule that is often forgotten is that if you want to, you can use the Bardic Inspiration on your damage roll, and because it was a crit, you could double it. Oh. Do you well, want yeah. To do that? Yes. Okay. So, roll it twice. Um, uh, Ryan, it's a D8? D8, yeah. Roll a roll D8 two, twice? Two D8, or, yeah. Yeah. Roll a D8 twice? Yes. <laughs> okay, your second attack wasn't needed because the 12 would have killed him. So, who do you want to use your second attack on? Um, I'll do the one right there. Okay. Diagonal from me. So, he'll take four damage. 
Um, I'm gonna move the dead bodies off so they're not in the way. Just toss them in the water. Sword? Okay, the top row is Yarrow. The second <laughs> row is Cyrene. Yeah. Alright. I'll try to go quick here. Um, this guy is gonna move up and attack Nelios. Bite. I'm sure miss. that misses. Pincer Staff, miss. About time they miss. No. Um, Sahuagin High Priestess. Um, she got hit by a fireball. She is going to... She is going to attempt to hold person Oliver. Yeah. Okay, that's her turn. He is held. Uh, next, Farragon. Farragon, as a bonus action, is going to teleport away from the guy that's next to him over to this one who's concentrating on the hold person. Um, he is then going to use his fear gaze. She fails. She is now frightened of him. Um... Uh, frightened means that she's got disadvantage on ability attacks and attack rolls and cannot move closer to Farragon. He is then going to whack her with his oar. Ah, uh, shit. He missed, and I don't think being afraid matters for that. Um, nope. So he just misses with the oar. Um... He is then going to move over next to Oliver so that Oliver can't be surrounded. She will make an opportunity attack on him, but she has disadvantage because of the, um, the thing. Oh, she still rolled a 17, so he's going to take another two damage. of Wigan champion um Oliver doesn't matter he's gonna run right by Oliver and he is going to dash toward the rest of you guys he's not interested in the hippo guy who is frozen in place he wants a fight and he's he's uh screaming um blood Blood for Delga! Blood! <laughs> Nelly just goes like a friend of yours. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill that guy. This Kuatoa is gonna go for Farragon. That's a hit. That's a hit. Farragon's gonna fuck. Well, the good news is he has resistance against all of this. The other good news is that him being grappled doesn't matter because he can teleport every turn as a bonus action. But, yes, he is definitely getting fucked up. Um, this one's going to run up the stairs and go for um, the good doctor. Well... Wally actually has a 16 AC, so that misses, and that misses. I don't know why the people aren't snapping. All right, the Blade Master uh, is going to go for Silith. and he gets to make. 
So this guy's actually missing a hand, and he has, in place of the hand, instead of a hook, he has a um, scimitar like mm. on his hand. Um, and he gets advantage because of the flanking. Ooh, boy. Silas gets fucked up. All three of those hit. 12, 13, and 11. Whack, whack, whack. And it is Neliosa's turn. Huh. Don't like that. Um... Hit him with the Pokeball. I don't have one. Yarrow does. It's true, but I'm not Yarrow. These guys, creatures that could go in the Pokeball? Oh, I was talking about Silo. But, um, I don't know. What does it say? What kind of creatures can you capture? I look at my Pokeball. If you can capture humanoids, yes. If you can't, no. I have a feeling no. Probably not, because I don't want there to be slavery in this game. Yeah, beast, construct, elemental, monstrosity, ooze, plant, or undead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't believe you didn't ever caught an undead that whole time. Yeah, I don't know. I want like a I want a beast Pokemon. You, you, you figure know? out what you want and you let me know and I'll make sure you come into contact. Oh okay. slave. I moved out of the range <laughs> of the guy here. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm really worried about it because yeah, okay, I thought you missed. Hit you, but... Yeah, I just want to oh, make sure slave. I didn't get ahead of myself. Not here. Cool. He named um, him slave. He's like, an HM slave. This cries. I'm going to use... Mr. Slave. Mr. Slave. Where is it? There it is. I'm going to use Misty Step. Okay. I guess I should could have used that before. Let's see where it's 30 feet. Yeah, I mean, I'll just say, just add 60 feet to your movement, that's fine. Or, I'm sorry, 30 feet to your movement. Okay. So just say you have a total of 60 this round. I'm going for... Oh, oh you're hitting the railing. Yeah, so I'm just stopping. I'll move, I'll, I'll move you, hold on. Going for a plate guy. You've got, five, you've got five feet left, or you okay. can just be there. I want to be here to have advantage on this ass. guy. Yeah, okay, I mean, so... and you guys can tell... You guys can tell that they are primarily concerned with um, the five of you and Farragon. Like, they recognize that Farragon is the one that drives the ship and that you guys are the strong ones. They're only attacking Silas because he was close. They're only attacking Oliver because he was close. So, I can't use my bonus action to ignite the hammer because I just use it for Misty Step. So, just keep right. that in mind as I'm attacking here. Okay. Yeah, used to be. Um, okay, so the bludgeoning here is a nine. Is your when are we planning on pausing? As soon as the round ends, we've got Baruch. Uh, we we won't do. We'll finish up with Baruch. Okay. Um. So that's nine damage. I'll use a divine smite. Okay. Level one. And then I'll attack again. That's thirteen bludgeoning. I'll stick with that for him, and then Silas will attack the same guy. Yeah, I just didn't do the divine spike there. Okay, you took out a little more than a quarter of his health with that. Okay. So Silas will bite and silver claws him. Uh, those both miss. Damn. Eighteen. 
This is. Yeah. This guy is very quick. Okay. Okay, Baruch, you're last, and then we're done. I'm gonna cast Expeditious Retreat on myself, and I'm gonna move 90 feet. Action, right? Yeah. Those slots. Okay, so you're using all three movements to get closer. And turn. Okay, then we will pick up with this fight next time. Okay. Yep, if, um... This fight is difficult. Um, if you guys had been, um had said anything about trying to be aware of, you know, hey, what if it's a trap, blah, 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 then I would have had you, you guys have like a surprise round on them because you would have been able to attack them as they were climbing up and um, nobody noticed, that's all. So it's a little harder than it could have been. Um, but I mean, you guys, you guys are going to win this, no problem. It's just a matter of whether or not any of your allies get fucked up. So. Yeah. Okay. Excited. I will. Uh, you're what? I was too excited about the the robot. <laughs> Could use the spyglass. Um, keep in mind as well that you may want to capture one because you don't know if this is their whole outfit or not. So okay. Keep that in mind. Okay. See you next week, everybody. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Yeah.